Hey guys, I have the M248 here. Welcome back for more Josh CCLP4. There are six blue locks that are reachable, however, shortcuts are not necessarily needed. Alright. So this looks like a blue and hidden wall maze. Uh, where thankfully, a stepping on a blue key is not a uh, sudden death. Assuming, of course, the uh, hint is accurate. Okay, it should be if there's down there. Okay, so I'm just going to try and pick up no blue keys, and if I accidentally step on one, then I accidentally step on one, and it's not the end of the world, because good design. So I'm going to try to be systematic about how I approach this level. There's one! As soon as I try to be systematic, <laughs> I've already used up one of my locks, so this level is interesting. I think I'd prefer it if there were less hidden walls and more blue walls, just because blue walls are better at showing where you have and have not been. But I definitely like this concept. All right, let's see if we can't get up here. So we'll just make a shortcut back. Oh, that's a loop. See, I would not expect that to be a loop. Uh, this has loops in it. That makes my general approach just fail. Wait, is there no way through this? There's no way through that. I'm making one. So I've used up three of my blue locks already. This could backfire horribly. Okay, so down there is a dead end, except uh, picking up blue keys is viable. Like, I'm just going to try and deal with the borders first. And then I'll work my way through the inside, because trying to get around the borders should take me through the inside. Can I get that chip now? No? Okay. So I see another blue lock I can get. And obviously, I'm going to head down here. And I think this is the only chip left in this corner. No, okay, there's this one that I couldn't reach. This is such a cool concept, though. Even if it is kind of long. Like, that's one thing Josh I've noticed tends to do. Uh, he tends to fill the entire level uh, with a concept, even when not necess even when not strictly necessary. And that's four blue locks. Oh, you're kidding me, right? Okay, no, I can't reach that. I was thinking I couldn't. So, I've used up four of my locks, so I have two left in the level that are reachable. I appreciate that hint, otherwise I would have reset on touching even one blue key. I'm surprised there's no hidden wall there. Okay, so five chips left. I know where three of them are. I know, I know where four of them are. And one blue lock. Oh, I, I've seen all five of them now. Now I just have to find my way to them. One. Two more, and they're both up around this way. Even if I have to take a bigger loop. 
I'm really bad at reacting to blue wall mazes. I'm just gonna take a shortcut because I know this blue lock is here. You are gonna let me get to that blue lock, right? 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 <laughs> Okay, that was way more, that was way, that was a much longer path than I needed it to be. Anyway, Chant of Sapphire is solved, moving on to Block Race. Which is another level I actually quite like. Oh, well, smart. <laughs> so yeah, you're on a bit of a time limit to do some block pushing. But it's not as bad as it sounds. Okay, so now I have to deal with the teeth. Um, let's bring you up and around. So this is actually a really interesting uh, puzzle of how to deal with the teeth. So once I bring two more blocks out, uh, teeth won't be an issue though. So we'll bring him around. Why did I do that? Okay. Um, so if he's trying to step when I'm here, he'll also be trying to step when I'm one tile away. Bummer. I can never remember. I know there's a way of telling, but I always do the logic on that wrong. Without fail, every time. You'd think by now I'd actually remember um, which state I need the teeth in. But now I know. Now I will remember I need him facing down. So now I can bring two blocks up here without teeth issues. Come on, come around. And now I want the teeth to follow me up. Because there's six buttons up here. And because there's six buttons, one of them is reserved for the teeth. So yeah, it's a really interesting room, actually. Just on its own. Anyway, with the six buttons down, I can obtain the red key. The teeth stays trapped. Even though you could uh, lure the teeth into... Uh, okay, regardless of shenanigans. So now we get a little avalanche section. And this is where things get tricky. Okay, I could put a block here and be able to retrieve it later in MS only. I'm going to try not to do that. Let's see. I'm pretty sure if I do that and that. Oops. This doesn't feel right. But it might be. Yeah, it is. I need to be careful to not hit the button I left alone. Because if I hit the other button, then uh, bad bad things happen. I end up locking myself out without having done up here yet. So 
So we'll just save a little time. So I've noticed the green key in the bottom corner. That's going to be important. And there's a blue key. Which the blue key is needed to let me teleport back. Okay. Race to the exit before the ball reaches the end of its course. That should be the other it. Sorry, Josh, I'm grammar not seeing all of your levels right now. <laughs> okay, where's the ball? Where's the ball? Okay, that was way too close. <laughs> okay, where's the exit? Okay, here it is. Okay, that wasn't too that wasn't as bad as I thought. <laughs> that ball scared me. I waited long enough that I thought it had all like I just missed it and it had gone up and passed. But no, it was down and I barely survived it. Moving on to teeth escape. Uh oh. Well this level seems kind of uninteresting to me. Yeah, if this is all it is, and I'm 99% sure this is all it is, then there's really not that much to it, and there's a lot of waiting. But it is an easy solve, so I will take my nice easy breather level. Where's the teeth anyway? Okay, he's over there. <laughs> So where is he now? Like, do I have to wait up at the top? Okay, yes, I did. This is just... <laughs> Where is the teeth now? There he goes. Where's the teeth now? I can't see it. There he is. Like, literally, all I'm doing is moving around and hoping the teeth goes the right direction. And eventually it worked. So that's teeth escape. In the television set. Moving on. So it looks like I have recessed walls and a single-use teleport. Okay, so I'm going to start by putting this block there, because I can do that without, with using only a couple recessed walls. Um, this is an interesting little conundrum, though. Because it feels like I need the same recessed wall for both of the... No, I don't. Felt like I needed the same recessed wall for both, but I did not. So that's what the uh, teleport's for. Okay, that was a fun little soccer band. Wait, what? What? It's not over? Did I seriously need to partial post right at the end? Because if so, that's kind of lame, honestly.
Because there's no... And I've gone and screwed that up again. Just because there's no way to really tell that you need to partial post there. It looks like you just teleport and you're done. So I'm just going to try and save a little time with doubling up things. And just ending closer. Because now that I know how to use the recessed walls, it's a pretty easy level. One, two... Yeah, partial post to the exit, of course. <laughs> I'm not too enthused by that, but, you know, it's not bad. Okay, panic pushing. Panic indeed. So because I got both keys, I can hit this button. And it looks like it will clone blocks onto the slide for me. So this is one of the levels Josh warned me about, specifically. Uh, I'm assuming all these traps are hooked up, like, horizontally. So if I clone one, then I get a red key. But if I clone another one... I can obtain the yellow key, which is going to be important. And then I can't really untangle that, can I? I mean, I can trash this block and start bringing other ones down. Unless I needed to cut across an intercept, I could probably actually do that. Um, still, what hooks up to this teeth? Because that scares me a little bit. Okay, I'm going to assume I can afford to trash that block. And we're going to go back here first. So that will give me a pair of skates, which is nice. Skates are nice. So what is that teeth going to be used for? Well, now I've got a blue key, and I can go in here, and I can start block sliding my way across all of this. And I need three in here. That's... a lot of block slides. Wait, no. It seems like each one of these gives me the next one in sequence. Okay. So, there are extras outside. I don't have to go retrieve more. Okay, this that makes this actually pretty cool. Unfortunately, then I still need an extra one. But I still have two. You could definitely intercept, so I could have three, even. So what is that teeth for? Okay, so there's still two more down there, but I can only have one, I think. Don't tell me I actually need that needed that intercept though. Um the block here so I can get a blue key, I'll get a yellow key, be able to turn it around, bring it up, it starts looping with the blue key, I can trade for a red. No, I need one, two, three more. Okay, so how many do I need down here? I need one for the trap, two for the bombs, one for the water. Now, I'm going to assume that's a cloner, but I don't know what's hooked up to it. And I don't see any clone buttons. So I could have plus two blocks from up there. So if I have plus two, I got one, two, we get that one, that makes three. Which means one from over here makes four, which is exactly the amount I need. So I think I do need that block intercept. Um... Looks like, okay, so that is a cloner, but it will only give me one block as expected. And I have to intercept that too? Oh, 
Oh, this is mean. Yeah, I see that trap button. That trap button links up to the fireball. So I'm going to stand on it and see what happens. Okay, so it hit the button, the bomb exploded. So I was absolutely 100% correct with my assumption of what would happen there. Okay, so now I know how to deal with this. That's actually a pretty cool interception right there. A little mean, but it's cool. So I'm okay with that. So I actually like this level so far. Yeah, it's a little tedious, but if this is the entire level, just getting through that part, then I will have minimal complaints. You first. Because I'm going to need blocks down there. I'm just going to take them from... Just do two blocks at a time, essentially. So clone one. Go wait here. Push it over there. So I think that teeth monster is there for no reason at all. Yeah, one more down there. So we're getting there, we're getting there. Especially because I still have two more. Yeah. I like what I, I see what Josh was saying about this one being not so great, but I'm actually having fun playing it. There's a lot of block slides, though. Wait. What if we went... Okay, no. The, the one that go... The recessed wall is purely for getting a block onto the trap button. And once I do, I have to run for it. But I need the yellow key before I can actually do that. Wait, no, I don't. No, I don't. No, I don't. I lose the skates. I get the block slide. Um... Yeah, I lose the skates, I get the block slide, then I get the yellow key. And with the yellow key, then I can go up and around and get the blue key. To get the red key to be able to use the last block. Okay. So let's grab the last one from here. And we'll move on. So I'm actually approaching the end of the JCCLP2 section. I think I'll end it here with this, with, uh, this level for this one just because I know I won't be able to get the last three in addition to this with a reasonable length video. But this one and then one more might be enough. All right, let's run for it. One try block slides are scary. I don't care like how consistent I have gotten at the timing. They are still scary to do. Mm. Obligatory hidden wall. I would have been so mad if that finished the level, though. Oh, that it's not the end. So this little recessed wall section is easy but cool. Okay, so be sure to push the bottom blocks on this slide before you enter the next room. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm guess okay, so I'm guessing the top ones are cloners. Yes, they must be cloners. Or on traps, but I'm assuming cloners. So what do we have going on here? So we have force floor. So we're going to get suction boots that we're going to need and then not need. Down there. All right. And then I'm going to need to outrun at the end. So I see three red buttons based. Wait a moment. 
No way. I can take these suction boots, I can run up here, and I can go and I can hit those manually. Or better, yeah, I can retrieve blocks. Still. So I could go get that once I got suction boots. Alright, I see how this part works. I should probably have already picked up the suction boots, but eh. There's extra blocks, which is nice. Yep, that's what I expected that to do. <laughs> but yeah, I could go back here and retrieve more blocks. I mean, it's a little silly. Yeah, we'll see which one. We'll see which one hundred is. I actually don't know. So now I'm gonna need to lose my boots. That's the theory. So I'm gonna assume just because that's there. Nice. Nice amount of time to react there. All right. So panic pushing was fun. Uh, fireworks factory, I think, is a little on the uh, long side. There's some tricky puzzles to it. Oh, what the heck, I'll do it now. I feel like the level like this. So every trap button will need to be hit. Open the, up this corridor above you get the chip. All red buttons must be pressed only once. So I've got a red key and a yellow key to let me enter the factory and I immediately die. Okay, that's a little mean. That fireball probably doesn't need to be there. Okay, so all red buttons must be pressed only once. So I'm going to have to keep track of which red buttons I have pressed, which is going to be a little interesting. So yeah, I've actually never played this level. I'm assuming it's named after the Spyro 3 level of the same name. Which, uh, amusing aside about that level, as a kid I hated Fireworks Factory. Now it's one of my favorite levels in the game. Yeah, okay, I don't see a way to avoid hitting this red button. Not that I would want to avoid hitting it, because I do need to press it once. Okay, moving on to this part, where things get a little more complicated, but not by much. Because now that red button, I have to remember, I have pressed. I can go around and do that. Moving on to the toggle phase, which is easy. Well, there's a lot of really small puzzles in here. This level's great, though. Okay, so if I use the recessed wall... Okay, I think this one can actually be done... No, I will need to push the button once. I'll just get the button press out of the way. Yeah, these are not difficult puzzles, but they are fun puzzles. Yeah, I was expecting a much more difficult level than this. Okay, I was expecting something like this then. <laughs> okay. So... The red buttons are a little more interesting than a recessed wall, but they have the same effect. Okay, so the bot red button at the bottom absolutely must be pressed when extracting... Um... Actually, no, this one has to be pushed left no matter what, so now I can see the whole room. I can make my life a little... Okay, that's a lot less strict than I thought it was. I thought the blocks all had to be moved in a specific order. But with that left push, no, it's more lenient than that. Because I can just turn around like so, instead of looping all the way around by uh, this block. And I would have screwed it had I done what I was thinking anyway. I was thinking to push the uh, lower block to the right. So now I've got four red buttons. 
But if I'm only allowed to press them once... I've got the two on the left side. Ooh, this is tricky. So I've hit the two on the left side, but I've hit neither of the ones on the right. Okay, I think I need the tank button pressed. So we'll put this there first. And then... Because I'm only allowed to step on that once. No matter what, I have to push that one up. So now I either go up or I go right. Both have the same effect. I'm going to go up because it's easier to remember. So I'll, both of those buttons are pressed. Both of the two on the other side have also now been pressed. So that's the hard thing to remember done. All right, so I think we've gone through the fireworks factory. This was a really fun level. I don't know if I uh, recommended it for CCLP4, but if I haven't, I'm going to. Okay. Depending on if okay that depending on if that side mattered. Fortunately, it did not matter. Can I see where that lower slide goes? I cannot. I'm pretty sure this one leads to the ship. I was correct. So do I want to take this other one? I probably do. Yes, okay, the toggle button. I'm assuming I want to press that. Oh, whoa! Don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me, don't kill me. Thank you for not killing me. Oh, this is cool. This is a bit of a wait, but this is cool. <laughs> so then I get fire boots, I go into the center area, and I can walk to the exit. Yeah, I think the level would have been a little stronger if it did not have uh, this fireball wait at the end. But this is a really cool level. I This was a lot of fun. Okay, I need a red key still. Where can I find a red key? Not down there. Huh. Can I find one around the... No, no, I can find the red key back near the beginning. If I can get in there, which I can from here. Okay, so how do I get back to the exit? Oh wait, there was a lot of fire between rooms down here too. Oh, the that's part of the border! Oh, that is clever! And I can force floor my way in through there. Okay. There, was a, there were a lot of clever things in there. Um, I do think the wait for the fireballs did not need to be there, but the ending exploration and walk back through, that, that definitely added quite a lot to the level. I'm glad I decided to play that. Uh, I'll move on to the final level Josh warned me about, 350 degrees Fahrenheit in the next video, but for now, that's 100 down. So 100 down, 220 to go. Yeah. That was a fun video to record. <laughs> One of the most fun uh, sets of levels I've had to play in a while, so kudos to you, Josh.